What is going on, Dominic? David Dominic here, and today is I am here with a mock draft episode. I am gonna be watching uh, this video on a mock draft because I am not talented like this person right here to make um, a little draft board. Now, before this, the the draft in April, um, I will be doing a mock draft before the before it happens. The reason why I'm gonna wait to make it. Is because you don't know what's going to happen this off season. Trades will be a big determination, especially in the, the first few picks. It's going to be determination on who's going to get that pick. And we're going to start it off. This is uh, 2021 NFL mock draft by NFL RT. Uh, we are going to try to speed it up because uh, if you guys want to watch the full video, it's 30 minutes, but. Trust me, I watched a little bit of it, and he goes in depth into why these people, you know, why they're going to get chosen and stuff. So, make sure if you guys want to watch this full video and everything, and if you agree on what I think, because this is his opinion, and I want to tell you my opinion on what's going to happen. So, here we go. Last mock draft, but since this is my third year doing these, and I want to keep them informative, yet visually appealing, your response to the format is really important to me moving forward. And also, some of you remember, I like to add something new to each mock draft. So if there's information about a team or a prospect that you would like to see added, please let me know in the comments. As you can see at the bottom, we've got a double ticker that shows the round and the pick. On the left, underneath that will be a progress. He went into some detail with this. I gotta give him props for that. This bar that shows how much time is left for each pick breakdown. This next part is still under development for the upcoming mock draft, but I wanted to see what you guys thought before I invested so much time getting all the info for all 32 teams. We'll have the team needs here on the left, the top three. I really like this. Because this is a, a, you know, very smart on what they could do. By the way, if you guys want to follow my um, my Instagram and Twitter, which are in the links below, I do do sports news and especially NFL news, um, and mainly NFL news. So I already can, I already can tell you there's some there's some rumors about them getting a tight end. There's some rumors about them getting you know other big players in these positions, especially in the O-line area. But here we go. Free agency on the right, and then moving on to the prospect page, I've got a brief overview of the strengths and weaknesses. And now, obviously, this is pretty generic. It's just this is going to be the easiest to do. There's some rumors about. Um, you know, Zach Wilson coming up in number one. I do not see it. I think Urban Meyer will make the right decision. And I think Urban Meyer is smart. He will choose whoever he feels best. And I think whoever fits best is Trevor Lawrence. You want a franchise guy? You know, if they haven't really had a franchise, a big franchise guy. No, they had a couple, you know, break Bortles or anything. But that's about it. They haven't had a franchise guy. This is their chance to get him. And I think. He is the best fit, especially when you have those, you know, if you get the, a tight end and you get an extra receiver in this draft, you already have a pretty good young running back who kind of shocked the system last year. And then you have, you know, need to get an offensive line because as we know from this year, if you don't have a good old line, that could bite you in the butt, such as the Bengals. Sucks. I really wish the combine was this year, man. Let's move on to the Jets. The original plan was to have trades in this mock draft. Now, notice how he didn't say there was trades. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to try to mention as many trades. Obviously, there's trade rumors with Deshaun Watson, and they're they're honestly talking about trade rumors for all the teams. You know, he, he they're talking about trade rumors from, you know, every team that might want Deshaun Watson and what the New York Jets are looking into. Now, here's the thing. If the Jets go out of this round, say before, if the Texans pick this, or choose this pick, they'll pick probably a guy like Justin Fields who's mobile, but you never know. They might pick Zach Wilson. You And, you know, you never know with the draft because a lot of people are speculating that, you know, Justin Fields is still number two. You know, people still say he's number one. But, you know, it, it all depends, and that's why this is going to be interesting. And this was made before uh, the Carson Wentz move, so if something changes there, uh, I'll have to say it. 
big trade happens there. Now, if Deshaun Watson gets traded, I do think that this is the pick that makes it work. But the Texans are probably the closest thing in the NFL to a plantation, so it wouldn't surprise me if they stubbornly refuse to trade Deshaun Watson because he, quote, belongs to them. This Jack Eastay guy and Nick Little Caesars come from the Patriots where they're used to taking advantage of the Jets, so maybe they would try to fleece them in a trade here. They're familiar That's with the league and Sam Darnold being involved in the trade pack. Man, Sam Darnold, he gets so little respect. Zach Wilson, I do say if the Jets stick with this pick, they're going to go quarterback, and I think they will go Zach Wilson. I think they're pretty much done with Sam Darnold. I think they want to restart. Sam Darnold will more likely be I, – I see multiple roads for him, you know, him being a backup for a team. I don't see him starting a team next year um, and I unless he goes to, like, the Texans. Uh but I see, I really do see him like going, being a backup, and possibly even being cut in the next few years. And you know, maybe he goes for the XFL, but who knows? But I think Zach Wilson's a good pick for number two. It makes the most sense. Makes the most sense. Gosh, I don't want to watch the full video, but like for the review, but it's hard not to. This is also a trade rumor, so we got to watch out for this one. Now, see, now this goes, wait, let me get all the stats, there you go. This could go multiple ways. I feel like, I want to tell you where I think he should go. I think he should go to the Bengals. I think the Bengals should try everything in their power to get him on their team. Why would you ask that? Well, let's see. They need, especially with all the people that are dropping offensive line people, uh, guys this offseason, I recommend the Bengals signing a lot of them up because the Bengals need an offensive line. We saw what happened to Joe Burrow. The route, he didn't have a line. He didn't have a good offensive line. He was getting his ass beat. He was getting dropped to the floor. He was getting destroyed. And then when he got injured, everyone was like, well, that was destined to happen. They need a guy like him to to be that young guy, stud on the offensive line. They need it, and they need it now. Now, where do the Dolphins would go? I think they would go receiver. There's two really good receivers that are immediately on everyone's mind. I don't think they would go for the Heisman winner. I don't. I, that's just me, but who knows. He just... Uh, Oh, that's also true. They, you know, they also do have an 18th pick. So if you want to, you know, get interesting. Aren't a prime trade down spot for the remaining quarterbacks. So that's something to pay attention to in the upcoming months. Plus, this is allegedly a potential landing spot for Deshaun Watson, even though that still blows my mind that it's a possibility. The plot. I mean, they recently announced now, that Matt Ryan was not. Now Matt Ryan is not moving, and I th that was going to bring a lot of rumors to this. I say they go quarterback. They need a quarterback, but I've heard rumors that Trey Lance is possibly their guy. I have also heard that they would go Justin Fields in this situation, and I feel like they should go Justin Fields. It's just the pick. And by the way, if he's not, if, if they don't go Justin Fields here, I'm gonna tell you who might smoke him up. But I see them going quarterback. I don't see them moving <clears throat> anywhere else. Once again, I think they would go uh, for the offensive lineman. I can't think of his name. Uh, I also can't say his name because I'm dumb. This is the best pick, but if they don't go anywhere here, they're going to go receiver. And I, I think that's just what they're going to do. Give them another weapon, especially since they just lost a weapon. Uh, so I think they're going to go, I think, Devontae, maybe. Or maybe reunite him with his LSU brother. You never know.
you're not watching them in line then. Do you like to watch the offensive linemen? Then hey, good for you. The world needs offensive scouts just like the world needs some. You know what? I'm not going to offend a bunch of people on five picks in. Much of my offensive <laughs> line evaluation comes from people that I trust. This guy is really good. Now. Himself, probably will. And a bunch of people that I trust, they do their homework on the offensive line. Makes his videos entertaining. That's why you guys su sub to him because he's actually, you know, so far he's banged a lot of these out. Okay. This honestly could be the next best thing, you know. They have to go for uh, offensive line. They have to. But it also depends. I've heard like four different things about the Eagles. I've heard that they they're gonna go quarterback, especially because Carson Wentz isn't there. I've heard a lot, a lot of things. Now, I have to give him this. He, since he was, um, uh, you know, since he, w this is after the Carson Wentz trade. I've heard rumors that they're going to give him competition. The meaning, I don't know if they're going to go out and get one, or if they're going to draft one. I think it's stupid because you're wasting or you're wasting a, a pick either way. If Hurts or yeah, Jalen Hurts freaking comes out and you know balls out, and then this this guy who would probably be Trey Lance, you know, you wasted one of those picks. Now, I would see them going with this pick if, first of all, he's still open. Because every mock draft I've seen, everyone's like, the first ten picks are like quarterbacks and receivers. That's about it. But I think Jamar Chase is the better option if they don't go quarterback. I think at all. I think he's the best pick for them. Obviously, don't need a quarterback. I had them picking a quarterback before the trade. Interesting. Now, I would not say that they would go here. I think they would go for the, you have to go for Devontae. Um, but, you know, hey. I'm going to try to speed along here because I'm, also, I'm in 13 minutes and this is a 30 minute video and I've already gotten through six. If they don't go, see, this is hard. I'm going to try to keep it moving. If Trevor Lawrence, um, you know, Trevor Lawrence is going to get picked. If Justin Fields is available, this is where they'll go. If Trey Lance is available, this is where they'll go. They're going to go quarterback no matter, I think, what. No matter what, I think they're going QB. If they don't get the Deshaun Watson, because they're rumored to be shipping everyone out, a lot of people out, to get him in. Mm -hmm. If, I don't even, yeah, I don't think he'll sit behind Teddy, though. They want him out. <laughs> That's a good, yeah. I agree with that.
do you guys think that we might see this become more of a thing for top prospects in the future? Let's go to number 10. We've got the 03, you know, the Alabama quarterback. Okay. Interesting. They have to go cornerback. I agree with this pick. I'm gonna try to keep him moving. This is gonna be a pick. Wow. Okay. Pick 11. Damn. Especially when, it, if you were to look at every mock draft right now, I guarantee you, they all say he's going top five. It's crazy. But hey, this would be a steal for the Giants if they do get this. Because I'll react to one of his another one of his videos when it gets closer to see how everything changes. This is gonna be interesting. Remember, if you guys don't, if you guys want to hear everything he says, watch his video. It'll be in the link. Another, okay, I see that. Definitely. I say you need to get. I see them going all, yeah. They would have to go. Yeah, I think that's a good uh -huh. I think that's a good pick. I think that's a good pick. Oh my gosh. Yeah, YouTube, you sons of guns. Oh. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, where will they go? Ooh. Ooh. You know, I think that, you know, I've heard rumors that uh, um, the 49ers would actually go tight end. And I know you guys are probably hearing me say that and be like, what? They have freaking George Kittle. Yeah, I know. But I've heard them going for this kid right here. So if, you know, I don't know, Patriots, I think if they see Mac Jones and they really like him, I think they'll pick him. But... You know, there's a lot of people, if Mac Jones could might fall out of the first round entirely, I think he might be picked up the second round. I know there's a lot of quarterbacks that everyone needs, so it would be interesting. And he's like, he's a really smaller receiver. I think that's a good pick. They're going defense. They're not moving him. Yeah, he's content. They're going to go defensive pick. Their offense is good. Maybe your offensive line could be a little better, but they need to spend most of their money 
on defense this year. They have the receivers. Try to bring Aguilar back. You have a running back. You have a quarterback. You have a good, you know, Derek Carr. Now, yeah, yeah, I'm a Vegas guy, but I'm a Steelers fan. And I like Derek, Derek Carr. He played amazing. I don't know why people keep giving him a bad rap. Barmore is an ascending player. He's just you know, at number eight for me, I've got the Miami Dolphins. And I played roulette with the Dolphins, 36, available. And so I don't know why he's Ooh. not higher on draft boards. This is a situation where... I've heard rumors that the running back from uh, Alabama, I can't think of his name right now, Najee Harris, I think, he is going to go here, but I just don't see it. If he opt out, too, then I think hurt him. But it would be really fun to But I could see them go in edge rusher, too. He's kind of a hybrid player that could fit in multiple defensive fronts, and the formula for winning a Super Bowl in the last decade has been simple. Draft the young did I just restart the video? Offense, personally. That's just yeah, I did. Second is a solid championship game. So, I don't know why he's <laughs> the defensive back from this offense. I just pressed zero on my Number board. Nine, we've got the Washington football team. And they can go the multiple. This is a home for Matt Schoenbeier, a country Mac Jones is not going to Washington. I do not see it. They uh, they should go offense here. He's not going to be the identity of this football team. They're going to roll with a veteran that they trust over a rookie quarterback anyway, especially this soon after the Dwayne Haskins left. Whomever it is will need yeah. more weapons though because Terry McLaurin and Logan Thomas just can't hey, stay it's away from passing back again. I think that I say it's not a bust until you're out of the NFL. <laughs> Okay. I could, I could see this actually going in. His speed is bad. He was. I, 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 bur I broke that news, but they didn't get him. Offensive line? I, I said, yeah. Okay. I think that's about where he would land, too. They won't be picking quarterback now that they have uh, Carson Wentz. Uh, once again, this video was made before then. They're going to pick, you know, either O-line or defense. Especially because their run game was fantastic. I've heard a Najee Harris will go here. And remember, this is a pick before the Steelers. Definitely defense for them. Yesterday, as I'm making this video, yesterday Ben said he's coming back. So if he picks a quarterback here, that probably won't happen. But if they were to pick quarterback, they would pick Mac Jones or Kyle. I uh, can't think of his last name. Dance, maybe I think is his name. But their rushing attack, man. They're gonna pick a Najee Harris. They gotta fill some positions here. They have to fill offensive line and running back. I think they'll draft offensive line, but later. But if a Najee Harris is on the board this late, they will take him without a doubt. There is no doubt he will be taking number 24. No doubt. If he does, and the Steelers, because think of it, the Steelers aren't going to let Betty Snow be their top guy. And if he drops in their lap without trading up to get him, now they already might have his set, their sights set on him because they know he's going to he's going to be 
where they need to be. But if they see that, you know, a Najee Harris is still open because there's only a few teams, like two teams above them that would steal him, both being the Jets and the and the uh, Dolphins, there's no way. They got Trevor Lawrence. I would shift my attention towards an old line. <laughs> But at a defense too, they need a defensive guy. This is gonna be an interesting pick if they have to go defense, right? Alright. I agree with that one. Coffee and paste. If they don't pick receiver. Now it's time for the Packers front office to respond by giving this man some more playmakers. He's likely got one. But seeing on how this mock draft is, because apparently Najee Harris will people say are going to the second round if he doesn't go in the first, obviously. But if you don't have Aaron Jones, a guy like a Najee Harris who can not just run the ball, but could be a good passing guy too. Perfect. I also see them getting fuller, and if they get fuller, they might do differently, but they still might do receiver. You need to take attention off of freaking Devontae Adams. They have to go a line. I was about to say, they got some running backs. Oh my god. You know, if there's anyone that can tell me how you take ads off videos, let me know so I could do that. <laughs> They need to go defense. Yeah. They need defense in the past. Their defense is not the best. This video is almost the size of this one. You know, he, he got it spot on with a lot of these guys. This is obviously a guarantee. But I, I'm telling you guys, I'll make a video, another one of me reacting to this video. If you want to see that, tell me in the comments. Like the video. Tell me if you guys want me to react to his video when he probably does it later on in this year. 
They'll probably do one after free agency or at the end of March. That means beginning in April, and he'll probably make one before the end of April, uh, before the draft. I will react to it, and I will tell you guys my version of the mock draft. I will write down mine. They, you know, he did a great job. I agree with a lot of these picks. Um, obviously, there's some that I don't agree with, and that is because that I am, you know, I'm in the middle. Well, for one, this obviously this video is from later, but. I can tell you right now that you, what they're going to do and what they're not going to do. First of all, um, you remember how I told you that Naj, uh, Najee Harris, there's only two teams that can get him before the Steelers, and that is the Jets and the Dolphins. But you want to hear a funny thing about the Dolphins? This was a, yes, this was a day ago, and I reported this. Look in the description below. There is mutual interest, which means both Aaron Jones and the Dolphins want to be want to work with each other. And if if that's a done deal here, then you could pretty much say it's a done deal uh, here. But here's why I think the Steelers are going to get Anaji Harris because once again, these are the only two guys I see taking him are because the Jets right now are in super rebuild mode and if they don't get their shit together here in a moment they'll never be a franchise their defense is awful okay their defense is not the best their offense is not the best I don't know where both of those teams rank but I guarantee you it's almost dead last they need defensive players they need offensive weapons that's why I think if Deshaun Watson goes there, it's the dumbest decision you could do. Because why would you pick a quarterback? You know, even now, why pick a quarterback? I would stick with Sam Darnold. Because we use your first pick to get a Najee Harris. Or an offensive lineman. Because, wait, who did he say would, would get him? An edge room. There you go. And then spend it on a defensive player. You, They, they need to pick a team. They need to build a team around these players and God help them all because there's no way in hell that any of these people, you know, I see Najee Harris literally landing in the lap of the Steelers. The Steelers would probably go offensive linemen, the, their second pick, and then they would go on. I think that the Steelers are have the best chance of getting him, especially after reacting to this video, because I don't see anybody else picking him up. I really don't. It, now, there could be like a, a really big, shocking left turn, but there is no way. And I'm sorry that this video was way longer than this one, but I did tell you, if you guys want to watch this guy's video, you know, it, w it was really done. It, it was really good. It's in the description below, but here, it, guys, this is probably one of the best looking videos I've seen of the mock draft and I was looking for some I didn't want to react to the NFL's version because first of all um, they're short as hell <laughs> and if I watch the video I get like I, I get copyrighted like immediately and the video will, will probably be taken down but this was my opinion and I know you guys might want my opinions on what this draft is going to be but this video hey and if somehow the guy you know watches this video um and you he, he watched the f my full description of it bro this video was amazing uh i would like to react to a lot more <laughs> uh and this this video was just put together you could tell he put so much time so much thought into it and i like it I'm not good with editing yet. I'm not good with any other things. So there's no chance in hell I could have built this myself. So, so uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the this video, like this video. If you liked it, uh, comment down below. What do you guys think is going to happen? Tell me where your team might land. Obviously, LA doesn't have a single first-round draft pick because they, don't, they haven't had one since 2016, I think. So... Once again, if you guys want to watch this video 
and the full video of t describing each pick. Link will be in the description below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Dominate the world. David Dominator is out. Peace.